A very short update to you, my dear channel members. We have got this email three hours before. So normally uh, we do not get emails from uh, Scopus Index Journal. So we have got this one. Okay. So the email came from submissions at the rate of k u e y dot info, and they have mentioned that it is a Scopus Q3 journal, but actually it is Q4. And down they are pointing to the Scopus Index Journal. So normally if you receive emails like this, also this email has come in the spam folder, which means that this journal may be removed from the Scopus database very soon. Hello Christian channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as African Journal of Biological Sciences. So in this video, we are going to find out whether uh, we have any processing charges or maybe publication charges with regards to this particular journal and the time they take uh, from submission till uh, successful publication of the article in this journal and whether all the articles published in this journal are really indexed in the Scopus database or not. We'll also try to find out whether this uh, journal is also indexed in the UGC CARE, uh, ABDC journal list, Web of Science journal list as well. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of African Journal of Biological Sciences. So this is the journal we are talking about. So we are searching for African Journal of Biological Sciences or maybe you can search for AFJBS and you will be getting the search result. So the first uh, search result comes from AFJBS.com. Also, we have uh, another one uh, journal website. Okay, so it, this is ajbs.journals.ekb.eg. So do not get confused because this is actually a Egyptian uh, country journal and the journal what we are discussing is from uh, Africa or maybe South Africa. So here we also have Sai Imago journal rank discussing about uh, this particular journal. We also have links from other indexing databases and Scopus as well. So what we'll do, we'll first of all go with the first website. Let me tell you that there is no cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal. So we have only one website. So this is actually afjbs.com. So suppose if you want to submit your valuable article, then you can submit it to uh, editor at the rate of afjbs.com. So here you should understand they have given an email ID, but uh, email ID is just for any clarifications or queries. So here is the section where you are going to submit your article. And in the uh, scope of this journal, they have given everything related to uh, biology, like uh, maybe animal sciences, biochemistry, bioinformatics, biotechnology, all related to uh, sciences you can find over here. And in the policies, it has mentioned that you should uh, actually submit your paper only through the online submission system. Okay. And they are asking you uh, to pay some processing charges for publication in this journal. When you browse through the latest issue, volume 5 issue number 1, we find only 4 articles being published in this journal, which is a very good sign. When you go to guideline for authors, they have mentioned that the article within that uh, font style should be uh, maintained at uh, Times New Roman 12 point and uh, the main subheadings should be like 14 point. So they have also uh, given guidelines of how the title page uh, should look like uh, about the abstract that uh, it should not exceed 200 words. Uh, the keywords four to six uh, keywords introduction uh, materials and methods uh, then you have a uh, proposed uh, system uh, the guidelines for figures you know diagrams like uh, 300 dpa then you have guidelines of how the references uh, should look like uh, every referencing uh, styles uh, about the books journals uh, monography everything they have given in detail when you go to the archive section uh, like uh, we have like three issues over here so we are right now in April. So volume 6 issue 1, 2 and 3 we can find here. When we browse through one particular issue, volume 6 issue number 1, we can find you know only 13 articles being published. When you go to the editorial board section, they have given the uh, editor in chief information, then some associate editors as well. Okay. And uh, here when we browse through the editorial board members details, of course, there is some internationalism, but uh, they have displayed the affiliation details. They could have mentioned an email ID as well, because these are all like primary requirements to get a ISN number 
which they have not followed. So when you see in the journal website, they have mentioned that it comes under Q4, quartile number 4. And about the article processing charges, so everywhere in the website, they have uh, directed to uh, article processing charges. So they are saying, you please visit this section. But when you go to this article processing charges, we are not uh, getting the exact details over here. They have mentioned, okay, they are going to collect some article processing charges, but there is no submission fee or maybe pay charges or maybe color charges. Please note that uh, if you are an author from the low income economy, then uh, you will be uh, subjected to a waiver policy. So uh, please make sure that you submit all relevant documents by sending an email to info at the rate of afjbs.com. So here in the contact us section, they have given just one email ID. There is no particular uh, phone number or maybe uh, affiliation address. A pin code nothing has been mentioned here even when we go down they have given just uh, like african science publications no details we can find here so about this journal we have you know uh, little information but we can see that uh, uh, like uh, less articles being published in this journal so that is the reason we decided to check for sci imago journal rank so here with the sci imago jr.com we search for african journal of biological sciences so we are getting this journal from South Africa. As I told you, there is also a Egyptian journal. Okay. So country South Africa, uh, agricultural and biological sciences, biochemistry, genetics and molecular biology. Publisher, you can find the same publisher information. H index is just 5. Same ISN number we can find here. And here in the Scopus coverage, they have mentioned 2019 till 2023. You need not have to worry about. We will cross check with the Sci Imago journal, right? When we click on the home page and how to publish in this journal, it is redirecting to the exact first website which we have reviewed. So this is the genuine website according to Sci Imago Journal Rank and they have displayed the same email ID. So here in the scope, same scope you can find here and in all of the biological sciences, it falls under Q4 quartet. So here we can find out the two year, three year and five year statistics of this journal and we cannot find any common section for this particular journal. So anyway, we will cross check with the uh, Scopus website. So in the scopus.com. So in the sources here, you should uh, select the title. Okay. And in the title, enter the title African Journal of Biological Sciences. So this is the journal from South Africa. Scopus coverage years shows 2019 till present. Okay. So here the publisher. ISN number, subject area category, everything we can find the same information. We do not have a source home page over here. Okay. But when we browse through Scopus content coverage, so we can see 2024, 35 documents. So uh, in the recent years, we can see like uh, 30 to 35 documents being indexed. But uh, the problem is that uh, with uh, 2024, already we have 35 documents. So when we try to cross check uh, with this particular website, so actually I went through uh, uh, 2023 year. Okay. I counted all the articles. Okay. So the total number of articles was exactly indexed in the Scopus website, which means that whatever article is published in the uh, website that got indexed. So even like 2024, we had 35 documents already being published and all of the 35 documents being indexed. As you see right now, like 2024, we already have 35 documents and we are nearing to the end of April. So going in this rate, uh, definitely they will uh, reach like 100 odd documents by the end of 2024. When you go to the site score rank and trend, you can find uh, in the site score rank uh, 2022, here it belongs to the 12th percentage. So 12 means it comes under 0 to 25. So this is Q4. Whatever mentioned in Sci Imago journal rank is correct. So about this particular journal, of course, uh, we find that uh, very less articles are being indexed in one particular issue and, and all of the articles got indexed so far. So we believe that this journal will remain in the Scopus website at least for one year. But however, when we try to browse with the master journalist, so mjl.clarivate.com, so we uh, search for African Journal of Biological Sciences, we are unable to get the exact search result, which means that this journal does not come under Web of Science database. But however, when we go to ABDC, uh, Australian Business Teams Council, journal quality list, we downloaded this particular list and we searched for African Journal of Biological Sciences we are unable to get the search result which means that this journal does not uh, come under ABDC journal quality list. Then we go for UGC care website so ugccare.uniponia.ac.in we have group 1 and group 2. So since this journal comes under Scopus so in the Scopus source list it comes into so which means that this journal comes under UGC care group 2. 
However, we also find some clone journals as well. So we go with the list of clone journals. We click on this particular link and we search for this particular website. Okay, AFJBS. We did not get any search result, which means that there is no cloned or maybe fake website with this particular journal. So as far as this journal is concerned, uh, with regards to information, we have you know uh, like a little information. But uh, with regards to the articles being published in this website, they have maintained a very good limit. So average on a year, they are indexing uh, 35 odd uh, articles and we believe that by the end of 2024, we will have 100 odd documents to be indexed uh, for this particular journal. And let me tell you that all of the articles which are published are getting indexed in the Scopus website. So we believe that this journal will continue at least for one year in the Scopus database. But however, this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science and uh, ABDC quality list. But since this journal is a Scopus index journal, it comes under UGC Care Group 2. As far as the article processing charges are concerned, uh, we have charges for regular issue as well as special issue. For the regular issue, they are charging up to like 40,000 in Indian rupees or approximately $500. And for the special issue, they are charging up to 30,000 in Indian rupees or approximately $370. And the time they take from submission till the publication of the article is a maximum of one month. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, positive or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section. So I'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful review. So see you then in another interesting, yet another genuine review. Till then, collaboration is everything.